The Fisherman and the Golden Fish English Language Grade 5 Hello my dear little girls and boys. Are you ready for a new English lesson? What are we learning today? Today we are going to learn about the golden fish. Let's watch a video clip. The Fisherman and His Wife His wife is very happy. Ask the magic fish for a nice new house. She says. The fisherman asks for a new house. The fisherman and his wife get a new house. His wife is very happy. But the fisherman is worried because the sea is getting darker. The magic fish is not happy. the magic fish for lots of treasure and good clothes, says the fisherman's wife. The fisherman is not happy, but he asks the fish. Soon they have treasure and good clothes. But now the sea is very dark. The magic fish is not happy at all. <sighs> Tell the magic fish I want to be a queen, says the fisherman's wife. I cannot do that, says the fisherman. That is too much. The fish will say no. Ask, says his wife. The man asks the magic fish to make his wife a queen. You ask for too much says the fish. You will have nothing. Now the sea is not dark. 
There is no food or a nice house. There is no treasure or good clothes. The fisherman's wife is not a queen. On a small bare island, in a simple old shack, lived an old fisherman, his wife and their cat. Every day, the fisherman went down to the sea, where he hoped to catch enough food for all three. One day, as the fisherman sat deep in thought, a tug on the line meant that something was caught. On the end of his hook was a wondrous sight, a golden fish gleaming in the sunlight. The old man couldn't believe his eyes. Then the fish spoke to his further surprise, Good fisherman! Please release me back to the sea and I'll grant any wish you desire magically. The fisherman was so astonished he had nothing to say. So he set the fish free and it swam away. That night he returned with nothing to give but his incredible story of the fish he let live. When his tale of the golden fish was through, the fisherman's wife scolded, I don't believe you. We are living here in a rundown shack. You must ask for a new home when you go back. The next day, the fisherman found the magical fish and told him all about his wife's greatest wish. Return home, good fisherman, and you will see your home is now a palace as nice as can be. When he returned home, the fisherman saw an amazing sight that filled him with awe. Where once was his shack, all bare and worn, there now stood a palace with a beautiful lawn. The fisherman's wife urged, Return to your fish. You must insist that he grant us one more tiny wish. A palace like this demands only the best. We need servants to meet our every request. Next day, the fisherman called to the fish, As I save your life, use your magic to send servants for me and my wife. The fish replied, Go home and you will behold a group of servants will do whatever they are told. So the old couple lived like royalty indeed. Their servants saw to their every need, fine clothes to wear and jewels galore, as much food as they could eat and more. Even with such luxuries and wearing a crown, the fisherman's wife still had a frown. Bring that fish with his magic here to stay. I want its powers at our service night and day. The fisherman strode to the beach the next day. Golden fish, he called. You must come right away. You must serve us in our palace. Grant any wish we ask. 
but the fish swam away and he never came back. The fisherman returned home, where once he had reigned, only to discover they'd lost all they had gained. No palace, no flowers, no fine clothes and fair, just their old wooden cabin, simple and bare. The fisherman and his wife realized their mistake. They asked for too much. All they did was take. Now they live very simply, content with their lot and learn to be thankful for what they've already got. Children, the moral of this story is you have to be thankful for what you already got and have to satisfy yourself with what you have. It's time to make smart choices. Let's practice. Can you choose the correct answer? 1. What type of fish did the fisherman catch? A. A silver fish B. A golden fish C. A red fish 2. What did the old man do to the fish? A. He set the golden fish free. B. He killed the golden fish. C. He put the golden fish into a bucket. Three. What was the fisherman's wife's first wish? A. A new house. B. Some servants. C. Gold coins. 4. Was the fisherman's wife happy with what they got? A. Yes, she was happy. B. Don't know. C. No, she wasn't happy. 5. What is the moral of the story? A. Big houses make you happy. B. Don't ask too much from a fish. C. Be thankful for what you have. Follow the directions quickly. It's time to do the exercises in your Shikshana School Publication textbook. Comprehension, page numbers 55 to 57. Please complete all the exercises and make your dear teacher happy. Goodbye and see you soon.